Hi guys, I'm Song Kyung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I am showing you how to make LA Galbi. So I have a Galbi recipe already that you could use pork, chicken, beef, what, tofu, whatever you like, right? So I uploaded the video quite a long time and I think a lot of you guys are a little confused with the many different types of meat I used on the video. So I decided to share focusing on just LA Galbi, the beef short rib. Yeah, let's get started. First, you will need three pounds of beef short ribs. Any cut of beef short rib will work, but I do not recommend any thicker than what I'm using, which is one inch. All you have to do is score the beef short ribs. So this way, the marinade will get into the beef more evenly. But if you're using half the quarter inch thick of beef short rib, this is not necessary. All right, the beef is ready, so let's start make the Garbi marinade. You probably saw a lot of Garbi marinade recipes. They are pretty much the same. Like, just because it's my recipe, yes, it's a little special. Only thing that I do a little differently is I like to using my makganjang, the Korean flavored soy sauce. So I'm using half cup of my makganjang. It has all the onion, garlic, pear, apple, all these ingredients already in here. My makanjang recipe is on my website, samgyeonglonggas.com. I will put the link down below so you can check it out. Now continue with the marinade. Add a quarter cup of mirin, seasoned rice wine, quarter cup of maple shrub, two tablespoons of meshirek, Korean green plum extract. I have a recipe right here for my meshirek. The another result is a purchasing which is, I will put the link down below where you can purchase. Two tablespoons of fish sauce, one tablespoon of sesame oil, two tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of black pepper, quarter of green or gold kiwi. So the kiwi is the meat tenderizer. If you want to marinate this meat more than two days, do not add kiwi because it will break down protein way too much. You're not going to be able to cook it. The meat will like, fall apart and break down so you cannot use that and 15 to 20 cloves of garlic if you want more garlic go ahead and add more i'm not gonna stop here half of medium sized onion that roughly chopped and now just go ahead and blend them with the hand blender or do this in a regular blender pour the marinade into the beef you can do this in a dish like I am using right now, or you can just do in a Ziploc bag. So either way, whatever you prefer, you can just go ahead and do so. And marinate minimum, minimum two hours to overnight. I always prefer overnight. Yeah, she looks like a When you're ready to cook the beef, go ahead and heat your grill, either indoor or outdoor. So when I do the grill recipe, I always do outdoor because that's what I prefer. But a lot of you always ask me about the indoor grill, so I decided to do the indoor grill today. When the pan is nice and hot, go ahead and place the beef and cook about five minutes each side. When the beef is all done cooking, now you're worried about, OMG, oh, Sungyeong, what I'm gonna do with this sugar burned on my cast iron pan? You ruined my pan! No, let me show you. So just bring the cast iron pan while it's hot to the sink and under running hot water, it has to be hot water, and scrub heck out of it with this handy dandy bamboo. <laughs> So, um, I got this from Amazon, so you can definitely purchase too. I will put the link down below. And I also put my, uh, the, my grill pan link down below too, if you are interested. It's made in Korea. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I always just scrub while it's hot with the hot water. The best part of this grill pan too, I can wash it with the soap. Now look at it, perfectly clean. <laughs> I don't know, maybe my grill pan is so awesome, I can do this. Maybe your grill pan cannot handle it, I'm not sure. Grill pan, throw them, bring it on, girls. Bring it on. 
Okay, now go ahead and do user seasoning for grill pan or cast iron pan, which is brush a thin layer of oil and preheat the pan over medium heat. Now I'm actually going to serve the beef on this grill pan, so I'm gonna put this one onion that I sliced earlier and then place all the beef top of the onion. It looks like a freaking three Michelin star restaurant garbage in it. And it tastes like it too. You're gonna love it so much. We never start eating since then, already chewing something. <laughs> she's, this is, she's not chewing this. <clears throat> Camera magic. It's baking, babe. <laughs> Uh, so one thing I didn't mention about the recipe, in the recipe, the leftover marinade, bring it to boil, take the like little scums out of the surface. Ta-ta! If you're boiling hard for like about, I would say about five minutes, this sauce is safe to eat. So delicious when you dip in your garby in it. Like Extra so. garby flavor. If you're gonna throw it away, stop. Call me, I'll come get it. Because mm. that's how good it is. Mmm. 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 so good. And the onion, I actually ate it. Mm. Yeah. Mmm. The onion with the sauce on a little bit of your rice, you're welcome. Mmm. Mmm. What's going Should on here? Explain why Hanno's not here in this video too. Mm, yeah, sure. So, Here's the personal business in California, okay? Yeah, okay. that's it. You should watch it. If you watch the last video, you already know that. Mm -hmm. Today's the same day. She was eating Beijing beef right before she ate this. <laughs> miss, thanks. miss, I want to go plant based. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Mm, this is so good. Though. You must have this marinated boiled and dipped your carby in it. Mm. Make a huge difference. Mm. I actually mentioned that part on my original kalbi recipe too. So if you have tried my kalbi recipe, you know what to do. Mm. Mm. This is my favorite cut of short ribs that I've ever found. Just like one inch mm -hmm. thick, already cut into individual ribs. We found this at the Korean market here. H Mark. Mm. H Mark. Not all the H marks have either. Mm. If you liked my Kalbi recipe, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching us today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Sungyeong Longas. I'm Jacob Longas. And this is Asian at Home. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. bye. bye.